I was not endorsed or paid by any of the companies featured in today's video. In this occasional series, I will be critiquing items of clothing that I have bought and may also be of interest to you. It's always good to go shopping when there are bargains. I have done just that and I try not to spend on regular priced items. So this pair of shorts is something that I bought from the John Lewis sale before Christmas. No, actually this was like around Boxing Day-ish, so it's kind of like during that vicinity. So these are cargo type shorts and I don't really have any of these. So they are a bit like a carpenter type wear where you have pockets on the side and this is made of cotton and I think it's quite durable and I'm hoping this will last for many many years so I think this original price was how much was this I don't see the tag on this oh okay so the original price was 45 pounds and I think I paid like about between 13 or 16 pounds so that's about what almost 30 pounds worth so I think that this is a good uh, purchase the next thing that I like to buy are knickers these are from Beyond Borg and this is a Swedish make after the tennis champion uh, I do have a lot of them in stock, but I think I just buy them to keep them in stock and to roll them over when the old pairs become not as durable and then they break down. So then I have these to fall back on. So I paid about 16, like about 16. I think the original price was 40. So I think it went down to 24 and then I think I paid about 16. This was bought during the John Lewis sale that I ordered online. So this and the cargo shorts we got at the same time. So this was a pretty good bargain, I think. The next things are some of these items I bought in Portsmouth at the Gunworth Keys sale. So this was something that I found. This is when I went in the second time. Um, this was, I think this was like about 69 pounds and there was a 30% discount on selected items. This is a rather thick type of jumper and I think it's made of cotton and it does feel somewhat soft and it is somewhat breathable and there is the classic All Saints logo in the top left hand corner and I did try this on because I don't believe in buying without trying so that's what I did and this was a nice fit and I think I went in and got this before they closed. We bought this Patrick Cologne from Buncrana, County Donegal, and it's a classic Irish men's fragrance favorite for over 30 years. The rich masculine scent of Patrick is both earthy and green with fresh notes of fern and pine, warmed with oat moss and patchouli. Inspired by Ireland's patron saint who arrived on Irish shores in the 5th century AD, our Patrick design is based on the Book of Cows, an iconic example of Celtic art. Now, shall we have a sniff of it? So this is a really lovely design of the letter P. 
I don't know what the exact art is, but it is quite nice. Um, I remember going back into the shop after we bought something initially, and then I said to Marcus, I really like the smell of it because I think I did see it, and I do like the cologne. Mmm. Mmm. So you have to give it a whiff. It does um, have the floral notes, and there is... Um, like a citrus element to it. Um, this kind of smells similar to this other um, cologne that I had back then. Oh, what was it? But there is a um, like a fragrant citrusy um, note to it. I think I do like the smell of it. And every time that I do smell it, I think this will bring me back to when we were in Ireland and when we had such a great time and it's a good way to elongate and um that time that we were there so if you are in ireland perhaps you would like to also pick this up in bunkrana in county donegal get on your bike it's time to subscribe to it's paul marcus on youtube Okay, this is the black hoodie that I eyed in the shop. There was one that I really wanted, which was the violet. No, it wasn't violet. It was purple-ish. So then I liked that color more. And then there was also a gray one and a white one. But then I believe that the white one wasn't going to be very good because of the dirt factor that you could get it very dirty. So this is the one that I chose. Yes, this this does look similar to what I'm wearing just now. Um, but this is a zip up and that is a hoodie. And I did try this on because sometimes you buy things without trying and then you think, oh geez, I should have tried it on because stores do not legally have to refund you if the size doesn't fit. So then you have to try before you buy. Otherwise, throwing money away. So this feels soft. And one good thing is that the space between this part of the hoodie and um where my neck is like there's a lot of room because other types of hoodies um there isn't as much leeway and it's quite closer so this is a good thing and it does cover a lot of your head um so i do yes this does work and it is making it um tighter and I do like the feel of this. I think it feels really, really soft on the inside. And I also do like the logo on the top left corner. And yeah, this is very spacious. And I do like my hoodies because I wear them and I put it over my head at home a lot, especially while I'm working. So that's something that I will continue to do wearing this lovely hoodie. So please join me next time when I review other things, including clothes and other types of accessories. And please subscribe for those of you that haven't subscribed already. And please give us any likes and comments that you do have for our show. And until next time, I'll say bye for me and Marcus. Bye bye.